SpaceX Falcon 9 Crew Dragon performed very well on this mission. The next mission could well carry India's own astronaut, Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, on the Axiom 4 mission to be executed on a SpaceX Falcon 9 and a Crew Dragon to happen in the next few months. NASA, ISRO, Axiom have come together for that mission. I have with me Dr. V. Narayanan, the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, Dr. Narayanan, thanks a lot. Yeah, how, is the, how is the mission for Axiom 4, where Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla is likely to go into space? Uh, yeah, as all of you are aware, right now we are working on our Indian Kaganyan program. And Indian Kaganyan program, already we have selected four astronauts. They, are, they have undergone a set of training, both uh, uh, theoretical training and experimental training. And Honorable Prime Minister uh, Modi ji announced them in Thiruvananthapuram last year. You are all aware. Correct. They gave him and, the wins. And the, they were given. Now, uh, we have got the opportunity to send one of the astronauts uh, to ISS. And this will bring a lot of expertise, knowledge, advantage, working with the other astronauts, carrying out a couple of experiments. This will bring a lot of advantage. That is why uh, Honorable Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi ji approved that uh, entire uh, program. And uh, right now, the training part is going on in, uh, in NASA. And then, of course, uh, we are going to send our one of the astronauts to, rather, Gaganya 3, to yes. uh, IS, ISS, International Space Station, with the support of, of, of course, whatever you told, uh, the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. And right now, the training is going on there. And the date of launch and date of this docking, the entire activity, I am yet to get officially. Probably, what I feel is the highest level leadership uh, will decide those things. But it will be very shortly done, in my opinion. Maybe within two to three months, exactly, it will be done. And uh, I am looking for the guidance, rather direction from um, the minister, uh, the uh, prime minister himself is the minister. Uh, uh, space minister. Of course, we are having uh, Mr. Jidendra Singh Ji as the minister of, uh, I mean, MOES. And they will decide and uh, whatever <laughs> they decide accordingly. Of course, in consultation with uh, the US uh, team, uh, it will be done. And then I expect it should happen within two to three months. Exact date, as soon as it is available, I will let you know. As ISRO chairman, mm -hmm. are you happy with the performance of group captain Shubhanshu Shukla? And will he make a good uh, astronaut to the International Space Station? He has to learn many things which will come handy in Gaganyan. No, I am extremely happy. You know, our uh, ISRO is a teamwork and our uh, Gaganyatri, I will put, he is doing extremely well. That is what is my understanding. And uh, these are all the exceptional people with great devotion and single-minded devotion they are having. And he is doing extraordinarily well. That is what is my understanding. And then, the, if you ask when he is going to ISS, Answer, honestly speaking, I don't know. Fair and enough. that uh, will be decided by Honorable uh, Prime Minister of our country in consultation with the top executives of the other country. Now, that the SpaceX Falcon 9 Crew Dragon with astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore executed a great mission, does that give you confidence that the Axiom 4 mission with the same kind of rocket and same kind of crew module will also do well? See, uh, to be frank, I consider myself as a born optimist. And when we are working in this type of uh, space program, you know, we always believe that this will be a successful program. And surely, this is a first step we have seen and we are rather, rather little more experienced. And uh, I am having full confidence things will go well because this experience also will help uh, for the people to handle the situation. And it will be a very, very fantastic mission. And uh, India... Uh, specifically, our Gaganyan program will get benefit out of this mission. Because one of the Gaganyan Yatri is going, he understands physically, of course, a lot of training is there, but then this is a hand-on experience, going with other astronauts and uh, then getting the direct experience. 
and trying to work with them as a teamwork. Because here teamwork is also important and what is expected out of him and it will bring vast knowledge and that will be really helping for our Gaganyan program. How is the Gaganyan program progressing? There are series of tests which need to be done. When can you expect to have the first uncrewed flight and when can we expect to have the first human flight? Uh, actually, for the Gaganyan program, we have to develop major systems. One is human rating of the launch vehicle. When you talk about human rating of the launch vehicle, I want to just say in a layman language, what is human rating of the launch vehicle? This is nothing but improving the reliability, enhancing the redundancy aspect wherever possible and required, and improving the margin with respect to structure, thermal, and all those aspects so that the vehicle will be perfectly useful and it will accomplish its job. So, with respect to human rating, I will say 90% work is completed. All three You are a stages, rocket man, you know all very the, well. All the three propulsion stages, every test is completed and we are ready. Now, another one is integrated uh, health, vehicle health monitoring. This is a new development and we are in the final phase of development. Thereby, I can say with respect to rocket, the human rating aspect, 90 to 95 percent work is completed. Next major development is the orbital module. Crew module. Orbital module consists of a service module and a crew module. And what is the purpose of this module? The number one, the rocket. In this module only, the Gagani Athiris are going to stay there and travel. Okay. Now, this module development is in the final phase and there are a lot of structural trust, lot of uh, lot of simulations and there are avionics packages, everything has to be realized, tested, qualified and we have to develop the, for keeping the astronaut rather Gaganyatri safe, we need to maintain the required pressure, temperature, relative humidity, carbon dioxide, all those things the has to be done. Basically, this everything put together we call it as environmental control and safety system. This system uh, we are indigenously developing and it's a total challenge and we are again I will say we are in the phase of testing and qualification. Now next aspect is the crew escape system. In the case of anything happens in the launch vehicle at any point of time, you know, we are all working for perfecting but then there are no, unknown We have to unknowns. prepare for We have to prepare and in that event then we have to save our uh, Gaganya theories. So in fact we have completed the development not completed, we have completed the realization. We have carried out a couple of tests. All the tests have gone well. Last year, we had a test vehicle mission and uh, the, one of the modules was taken to the some level of uh, altitude. Uh, altitude and with uh, the required Mach number and then the yeah, abort simulated and it flashed down. And we all went and received the module. Uh, it was picked up by our Navy ship and from Chennai port, we all went, I was also there, and we happily received, and we have studied things are in order. And similar experiment, lot of things has to be done. In fact, we are also going to do one more experiment, maybe within another two, two months time frame, we are going to do. Next thing is, the end then related, say, if you see, the rocket will take them to 170 kilometers. From there, we have to take them to 400 kilometers, and there we have to keep them in the required place. For that, there are proportion system required called service module proportion system. Then bringing them from there to some level, we have got a crew module that is having a propulsion system. And these propulsion systems have been subjected to enormous test program. And in the last phase, uh, as you all seen, how the, I mean, uh, our, uh, that last mission was accomplished by US and a set of parachutes. In fact, nine parachutes have to get deployed and it has to be flashed inside the sea. That is one aspect. Second thing is, for the first time, we are going to recover the entire thing. The recovery operation, for us it is new. So, and we have to put all the necessary infrastructure, everything towards that. And end-to-end -end mission design simulation, we are starting from the rocket lifting off, taking to 170 kilometer, and from there get it the rocket separated and reorient the system and separate the orbital modules, then rise the orbit from there to 400 kilometer and keep it in that orbit to the required number of uh, orbital cycles. And then the entire ground segment monitoring the health of the entire thing, capturing. I think lot of work is involved and I will say, we have decided there will be three uncrewed missions 
before the crude mission. And first uncrewed mission, we are going to have an unpressurized compartment because basically the aerodynamic phase of the entire vehicle, we want to simulate and try to understand and also the separation and end-to-end -end mission capability. So now ability three uncrewed missions? Three uncrewed missions. Okay. And first uncrewed mission, we are going to, already uh, the rocket building is going on and orbital module realization is going on and all the parts are gradually moved to three ricotta and we are trying to assemble being the first time you know and uh, then lot of simulation work is there software verification validation simulation those works are pending and we are in the process and i expect this year uh, the first uncrewed mission will happen in fact before that within another two to three months the uh, experiment related to the crew escape system we are going to accomplish and first uncrewed mission we will uh, see the result and parallelly we are also getting ready for the second uncrewed mission but if any any improvement has to be done it will be done appropriately sure. and uh, as you know the result of the first uncrewed mission will decide when is the second uncrewed Correct. mission in fact we are having target uh, once in five to six months we are having target that is the target but then the result will decide what next and so, so roughly about 2026, 2027 time we are, frame. We are targeting 2026 uh, end. That's the commitment we are given to the government. But we are working in accelerated mode. So let us see. First, let us accomplish the first uncrewed mission. That time, you will have the full clarity of the final dates. Safe landing is the most important thing. Uh, you are perfectly right. Say, till today, ISRO has scandaled only launches taking satellite to the orbit. This is the first time the human interface is involved. And the life, precise life of our own citizen is the key there. And we cannot have any compromise on that. Little bit delay here and there, even our Honorable Prime Minister also, really, yes, we are all working towards a target, but then surely he has also given that clear direction and guideline. The key is the successful mission. That is the key. So towards that, we are all working. And I am confident, schedule a little bit going here and there doesn't matter. But our target is to accomplish successfully the mission in the first attempt. So safety first and safety always? Safety first, safety always. I agree with you. Thanks a lot for Thank speaking you. to me, Dr. Narayanan. So that was Dr. V. Narayanan, Chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, giving us an update on the upcoming mission for Group Captain Suman Shukla, who may go up to space, to the International Space Station very soon, and also on the Gaganyaan program. Like he says, safety first, safety always. For the Indian astronaut who goes up on an Indian rocket from Indian soil, to space, a happy landing is what is most important. In New Delhi, Pala Bagla for NDTV.